and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Thresh Control. Been playing this one off stream and been liking it quite a bit. A uh, deck with a lot of life gain, and I think that's really important right now with all of these burn strategies. The one thing about our deck, though, is we don't really do anything before turn three, as you can tell. We have the Vile Feast, and some like getting Vile Feast can be pretty important against burn decks. But once turn three hits, we really start going. You know, like whether we're playing Awakener, Shadow Assassin, or Solitary Monk, playing one of these on turn three. And then if they uh, have a removal spell for it, we bring it right right back with Mist Call or we protect it with Twin Disciplines. Um, you know, and we just try to get to the late game because our late game is incredible. We use uh, Karma to be able to start casting our spells twice. And then we can start casting like two Grass the Undyings, um, two Withering Whales, you know, start really gaining a lot of life with that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a late game control deck. And uh, I've been I've been really liking it. Of course, playing a couple of health potions because of all the aggro running around. But then also health potion can <clears throat> heal our thresh that like maybe challenged and killed something, and you know heal the thresh to uh, be able to keep going. So let's give this a try. Um, I do think that I've been running pretty good with the deck off stream because um, you know how this does have a slow start it hasn't really been costing me. I've been having a lot of vile feasts or. Um, things like that. Do you have the, um, do you have the two ruinations? Yep. Got two of those. Um, and yeah, you know, like we're, we're kind of like looking for like those decks that can, that can beat burn. And this has a ton of tools that are good against burn, but it is a little slow. All right, all those are going. Um, yeah, we'll just get rid of deep meditation. Also, I want uh, Will of Ionia. That's a card that I want against the standalone deck. Okay, yeah, don't put the don't put the plus in there. In your with your text back ninja just type cheer and then 1000 all right but I got the deck code so let me save that oh sorry about it Perfect. <laughs> I've never done this before. Can you tell? <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. You've done it correctly now. Perfect. Thanks, Pack Ninja. Okay, so what day? Uh, what day do you want me to play it? Do you want me to do it during the early stream tomorrow? Do you want me to wait until? Uh, Do you want me to wait until, you know, another day, like, you know, Saturday, Sunday, you know, whatever day? Every day is open. Sunday or Monday? Okay, do you have a preference? I can do, you know, either one, and also I can do it early in the stream, like, or late in the stream, if you have a preference there. Basically, you're the boss. You tell me what to do. <laughs> They all work they all work for me back ninja you just have to you have to choose the you just choose the day let me know so basically i'm just playing this vile this vile feast even though it doesn't do anything i'm playing it now so we have two spells cast so i get to play a two mana deep meditation 
That was the whole point of doing that. So much power crippled by restraint. Power is nothing without purpose. Digging for Will of Ionia. Still. And I didn't do the Vile Feast before. Because I didn't want, like, to, and then, because uh, I could have done the Vile Feast before and then jump blocked with the Spiderling. But I wanted to block with the 4-3 the and be able to get the 4-3 back. I didn't want to risk getting the Spiderling back. Okay, so first Saturday? Okay. Yeah, so, like, my, my stream on Saturday will start uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And so I can do, I'll do yours right away first on Saturday. They follow the wrong oh, and so that's a, a donation deck for some ephemeral. Cut deep as any some ephemeral stuff. Perfect. Again, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you can get your own donation decks if you'd like. Um, just $10 donation, and, and you just send me your deck code. Tell me what day you want me to play it. Or also the uh, deck idea. I will build the deck um, as well if you want. Or I can I can uh, tune your deck if you want to like send me a deck and say, please tune this and play it on you know Monday. And then I'll, I will do that. The donation link is in the YouTube description. Also, another little little thing is, yeah, like we are doing the early stream tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time. We're just uh, gonna do one of early stream tomorrow. So, if you're watching this uh, later on, if you're in like a, a different country where I'm usually streaming too late for you, maybe I won't be now. All right, so we got 50-50 shot. Hopefully, we get karma. Yay! That would have been really sad if we got Spiderling. Karma, find me that Will of Ionia, please. Where is that Will of Ionia? No! Wrong four mana card. No. I've been digging. I'm looking for it. around here somewhere <laughs> okay we'll do back ninja we'll do yep I'll, I'll really I'll take a look at it and and uh, everything and have it for you on Saturday Boo. I wanted two karmas. Yeah, so so Zed is now unyielding, can't take damage or die. And it is a leveled up Zed, so, so whenever it attacks, I'm an attacking li living shadow with my stats and keywords. So it does have all of this. So the, the living shadow will also be... Um, I can't die and all that kind of stuff so not ideal not ideal will nope nope such naivete Hmm. I guess I'm not actually going to gain life, are I? Are I? Am I? Are I? What is that? Alright, well that was... 
because it doesn't take the damage, so I don't think the life steal will work. So yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just blocked normally and, and not spend that four mana. That would have had Grass the Undying if need be. Oh, I guess, I guess that thing died. Okay, so I guess it doesn't get the Unyielding Spirit. I guess it doesn't get that. I guess that's not a keyword. It's not a keyword, and it's not stats. I guess it's just stats, keywords, that's not one. Okay, interesting. I know, I know, game, I know. Yay! Will. Will shows up. No, not sown seeds. No, not that missed call. That missed call is going to be good. Should have just played the oh, Emerald Awakener and not that. Well, I guess. I am the blade in the darkness. I don't really have drawn uh, too much. Strength from within. useless too. Heart and mind as one. So we want to have all the mana available for after we level up karma and now all of our spells are double. So you know now we gain six from health potion and so on. good just to take this just have this block happen all right I'll take that I knew and now I am cool head steady hand unwavering heart I will learn from you I do wish I had one more one more mana to be able to have double withering whale and a health potion. I'm gonna let the damage just happen like this though, if they want to you know, if they wanna let this happen. So like it's on them to do stuff. I'm I am perfectly fine um trading these two for those two. I don't need to start with anything. Um yeah, it's not gonna happen. That should be pretty pretty easy from here. We eventually found that Will of Ionia. We had to do a lot of digging, but we eventually found Will of Ionia. And it should be pretty easy from here now. All right, want to know. All right, back to where we started today, back to 500. 
yeah, our tech's basically always going to be behind to start with, and we're going to be looking to stabilize and and then, um, you know, uh, catapult ourselves ahead. But we're going to have a lot of low life totals and a lot of hoping we stabilize kind of thing. All right, I like this hand. I'm keeping the two Vile Feasts and the Monk. It's just really the Thresh. Do I want to keep Thresh or not? And I think so. I think we'll keep Thresh. Thresh is fine. <laughs> Bricks. I have my orders. Everything's in place. Ouch. No, should have Mulligan Thresh. We had another one coming. I'll try any one more. This is kind of awkward, I guess. Solitary Monk with Spiderling. Guess that's kind of awkward. But oh, I'll need the large. No, I want the spiderling to block. I love a taste of the I would have been more patient with the vile feast. Would have ended up working out better to play the monk first, but you just kind of never know that they could just go straight to attacks, and so you kind of have to vile feast right away. Huh, that's weird. I don't know. Beast, but. Jinx? Stands for Jinx? Fast as we, light as air. Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, keeping that life total high. Relatively speaking. Hopefully, Thrush will take out Jinx this next turn. Do uh, do have Will of Ionia if need be? Is that okay. I like where we're at so far. Yeah, they just get excited, discard, mystic shot. They're trying to clear their hand for the Jinx. Um, but it's nice that we have like a health potion that gets to counter that card. The thing that's not nice is if they do clear their hand. They have another get excited. Because then this would be a 5-4. And we would not be killing it. Alright, Jinxes get excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bounce that. And they can't replay it. And do I just ruination? Where's my axe? That was smart to play that first before the Jinx.
can't ruination, I die. Good. If, if only they would have played. Only able to play the Jinx first. Definitely been better. Down to three. Okay, that's good. That's also good. be basically we lose if they like have another if they drew a get excited right because that's seven damage well maybe no because i guess we're gaining six no we would go down to two if they drew a get excited Potion is good. Health potion's pretty good. That's why we're playing them. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, don't don't leave those health potions at home. Is that like a transfusion in hand or something? So I would love to draw another life gain spell. Like like Withering Whale in particular would be would be the best possible card we could get is Withering Whale. Come on, Withering Whale. No, that's not good. Peace begins within. Withering Whale. Okay, that's that's also great. That also works. That counter is a burn spell. Where there is life, there is hope. So close. But we had that that turn of drawing our two draws being Grass the Undying plus Health Potion after that leveled up Jinx was absolutely perfect. 
It was looking bad when they had that second to get excited to empty their hand. More burn. This burn deck's really good. It's really hard to stop. It is better when we have Vile Feasts than when we don't have Vile Feasts. I have my orders. Certainly. I can do this. Uh. Don't find me. Time to go. Dex just so consistent. Deck is so consistent. No, don't have Noxion Fervor. I'm already at four. trying over here I'm trying my path is clear so my my plan is like like I assume that they're gonna block And then my plan was going to be to miss call back my awakener, but now we may get miss call on the other thing. I have noxion fervor. Come on. Please. Uncalled for. Uncalled for. So that's... Has, um... Has fearsome... So I need to do the plus to be able to block. I'm trying to stay alive. Go. Coming in hot. Mm. Can I play Karma and survive? I mean, I guess. Yeah, like I mean, they can't attack right now, so. There is hope. I mean, it's a lot of things that kill me. A combination of two cards, or even just another auction fervor. Dang. They are not fooling around. So. For the Empire. <laughs> yeah, not fooling around at all. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't stay alive through those two cards anyway. Even if I would have cast Withering Will right away, um, I still would have gone to four because of the death trigger, and then the the other card would have killed me. 
Dang, what an awesome hand they had. Both uh, Noxion Fervors were incredible. That card is absolutely amazing. That is the card that's made burn from not very good last format to really good this for format, in my opinion, is Noxion Fervor. Of course, the that Imperialist 2 drop does help a little bit, but it's really all about Noxion Fervor. Canceling the Grass the Undying life gain and also doing damage to me. More burn. This is the opponent that we just lost, or that we that we beat two times ago. Of course I'm ready. Um, question is, what what would go first, the last breath or the heal from Withering Whale? Um, I guess the heal would go first, the life gain would go first, but it would have put me down to zero anyway. No, there aren't better three three mana burn spells. There's get excited. And conviction. That you know you have to discard something. It's easier to do three damage to your own creature than to discard a card. But just adding those two together, you know, before there was only one of those, now there's both of them together. We made them use a lot of stuff for that Emerald Awakener. And we're still at 15, but Boom Crew Rookie... Boom Crew Rookie can still get there. Alright, I think we got this. I think we got this. Thresh still didn't even level up. All right, so we're going to grasp the Undying our own uh, Shadow Assassin to level up the Thresh, so the Thresh turns into a 4-6, so it kills... Um, 
They would kill the Jinx. So there we go. All right, two and one against Burn. We lost one with those Noxian Fervors getting us. It's kind of crazy. You have a deck that's like built with all of this life gain, even the health potions, everything. Like we're trying to trying to beat Burn with all of this life gain, and yet you know still like Burn still is gonna win win their games. GGs. All right, now Karina control. So now we get to see the other other end of the spectrum. How does our control matchup look? And I'm going to keep these two. Withering Whale is good against Brood Awakening, but that's okay. We'll probably find another Withering Whale by the time that happens. Ooh, I don't I don't like this Emerald Awakener though. See, found another one. But I like Solitary Monk as my turn three threat. They kill Monk, I bring it back. Could do that with Shadow Assassin, though, and draw cards. Thing is, they may not actually kill Shadow Assassin. I'll go with the Monk, since we're attacking. This turn. Damage probably doesn't matter. Honestly, damage probably doesn't matter that much. With all the life gain, I don't know. It, it, it has to matter. This is a whole much. This is a whole, a uh, whole lot better mist mist call deck than the one that we played previously. Uh, the Lee Sin Karma deck that we played the other day. This version is much better. Utilizing mist call. Yeah, I don't really have a Hecarim deck right now, to be honest. Loco Swab. I did get a, a donation deck for a Hecarim deck um, that we're going to be doing first on Saturday. But right now, like a recommendation for um, the best deck to play with Hecarim, I, I honestly don't know. Um, what's been my most successful deck? I'd have to say... Um, Sejuani Frostbite. And I will get you a link to the deck. Yep, yep, lots and lots of Draven aggro these days. It is, it's just a, it's a really, really solid deck. Um, very consistent. Um, honestly, I think it, I think it can't, I, th I think there's a good chance that it's too good. Fast as wind, light as air. Honestly, and so. But. Yeah, do the first one. My path is clear. Tilt over and voice it on the scene. Get out of here, Vi. Nobody's asking you. Oh, really hope they don't have Karina. 
Or Ledros, to be honest. What, yeah, what regions you playing, Mike? What regions you been playing? My wisdom is not my Ooh, friend. I like it. It sounded like it sounded like they said, like when when that ability was finishing up. It kind of sounded like he said, "Ledros is pissed." All right, GGS. There's Karma. There's Karma. So there we go. We went four and one. We did lose the one time to the burn deck where they had the really awesome hand, including both Noxian fervors that were really important for them to win. But you could see that even though we didn't, uh, you know, we don't really start the curve till turn three, that we still have so much life gain that it's okay. We can stabilize and, um, you know, get back in it. So yeah, I really liked this list. Um, really liked this deck. And... Yeah, this could be like your answer to burn if you're losing a lot to burn. Um, you can even make this better against burn. You can take out a ruination. Honestly, maybe a ruination should be gotten. Like maybe there should only be one. But you could take out a ruination. You could take out the Ledros and, um, you know, play even some more stuff for the burn matchup. Um, what that would be would be like a third health potion, maybe a third solitary monk. Um, that kind of stuff. You could could play some two drops also. Like you could play like some claws of the dragon that can come into play free, but things you could also play on turn two. Um, I think I like claws of the dragon more th more than eye of the dragon for the burn matchup. I think yeah, I like the claws more. I have been a little disappointed with the eye of the dragon, and it is really difficult to get those draglings to come around. So if you if you want a two drop, I would recommend claws. Um, but I'm happy with this. Happy with this. All right. Uh, that's uh, Karma Thresh Control. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck. If you're trying this out, if you're doing good against Burn, let me know. Um, you know, any questions, you know, feel free to put them out there. All right, but thanks for watching some Karma Thresh Control, and I'll see you for the next video.